Hello, Monsignor Shora here from the Maronite Parish of the Hills. I want to share with you the parable of the Dupke, a parable of understanding the community of the church. The symbolism, beautiful. This flute player on the stage is symbolic of God the Father, from heaven proclaiming the song of his saving love in his son Jesus. And the powerful drum beat, so powerful, Drawing us to the dance floor is the Holy Spirit, drawing us around Jesus. And the tabla or drum player is Jesus himself, the Word. We can see him. God became flesh. Jesus, God became flesh in Jesus, so we can see him. And he reveals God's saving plan of love. Then the circle of the dancers gathering around, holding hands, are symbolic of the baptised members of the family, his body, family of the church. They're holding hands as a sign they know they belong. Everyone holds hands in the dove kit. Then the hand, sorry, the head of the dancers, then the head of the line is the bishop and the priest. And they often hold one of three things. Very traditionally, the head of the dance, the dove dance, waved a sword. And in the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 12 says, the word of God is sharper than a two-edged sword. So the bishop is head of the diocese, the priest head of their parish. They hold up the word of God and they proclaim the word of God, sharing it as a sign, giving us the vision, the mission, the hope of journeying towards God's kingdom together as a family. And uh, in the processions of the liturgy, we have the process with the cross, hold up the gospel, hold up the gifts, the offertory in procession. Then you have the opening in the dance circle. There's always an opening, and that's for newcomers to join, the church to continue to grow, and those that have fallen away to come back. Or if you can't wait for that opening to come around, you can join in anywhere. You come up, tap, tap each other, tap those hands, people move their hands apart, and they let you in. It's a sign that any church, any Catholic Maronite church around the world, oh, a Catholic you're, you're, they're open for you, welcoming you. And then there's the noticeable newcomers who join and they don't know the steps, they're still trying and we notice them because they're struggling and you have the wonderful people next to them, teaching them, leading them. That's a sign for all of us to be helping those that are struggling. And the steps, the symbolic of the steps we need to be taking and living by that keep us under the gift of salvation that God has given us in Jesus. And that's the Mass, confession, coming to faith talks, sharing our faith, coming to men's gathering, the women's gatherings, coming to Alpha, it's going to start soon, time in prayer, reading the scriptures, doing those crucial steps, helping us be part of God's journey, God's church on the journey to salvation. Then you have the over-shoulder lookers, contagious inviters, they're noticing who's not on the line. They're always looking to see who's who's just standing by themselves, who's just clapping but not stepping, not being part. They bring them in. They see who's lonely or sitting on the table by themselves. They go out to bring them in. And they see maybe who's outside the door smoking or up to some other mischief. They want to go out and try and help them and lead them back in. All of us are called to be those over-shoulder lookers, bringing people in into God's family of the church. And why join? Why join? Why help others to join God's family, the the Dupke of the, the communal Dupke of the church? Well, people will have an experience like we often do in the Tubble, in the Dupke, where the Tubble player singer will come and stand right in front of you and you have an encounter with them. That's a beautiful experience. The power of their music, the voice and everyone there joining with you, to have that personal encounter. Jesus wants to have that personal encounter with all of us and wants us to experience his healing and life. And the second thing, to let him, Jesus, lead us with the Holy Spirit as a community, lead us into the great dance of the Holy Trinity in heaven, the community, the Father, Son, in the divine dance of love in heaven. Wow. I hope every time you might get on the dupke floor, it won't be the same for you. You'll think about the spiritual dimension and be part, be encouraged to be part of God's family. God bless you all.